Good morning everybody and welcome back. My name is Joel and this is a stable life. We're kicking things off in Argento stall which is being used as a run-in shed for George while he is currently working on getting rehabilitated because he is still limping. So we've got him in the lower arena just to make sure that he's not getting pushed around by the other horses. Things are looking pretty good out here. Though we've got a little bit of manure we need to clean up this morning. So before we let all the horses in, I'm gonna clean all this up. Because of course, even though Argento is one of our horses, we still want Argento to come into a nice clean stall. It is appearing that George is using the stall more than anything. Looks like he's pretty much just staying in here. You can usually tell where the horses are based on what they leave behind. Based on what I'm seeing here, he spent the majority of his night in here. And lastly, we'll close the door because we want this to be a stall for Argento, not a walkway. Now we're ready to let the horses in. With that, we have all of the grain measured out, all of the hay in the stalls for the barn. <laughs> for the barn, for the horses. And next up, we've got to feed the donkeys. Hey Buster, hey Rocky. Now you get a quarter of a scoop of grain in the mornings and a quarter of a scoop of grain in the evenings. That's half a scoop a day, right Rocky? That's one. That's two. There you go, gentlemen. Oh, the good old donkeys. And now that the donkeys are fed, we can let in the horses. All right, look at this big group of horses we got here. Do you guys know which horses are which here? I gave you a little bit of time to guess. From left to right, it would be Sriracha, Spitfire, Danny, Declan, Tucker, and Samson. And I love that Tucker and Samson are becoming friends. And in the back there is Duke. Poncho and Poe are making their way up and the rest of the horses are out grazing, which is always nice to see. All right, let's let in the middle field. There's Roni, William. We are aware of his limp, just letting everybody know. And Rebel. I feel like we're missing some horses in there. They're in the running shed. Come on, boys! Hey, Jack. Welcome back, good to have you with us. Hey champ, I know, good morning, wakey wakey. Champ, tell me, how was your sleep last night? Did you have a good evening? That's good, anything else you wanna to say to the camera? Nothing at all? Well, that was about all I could get out of them. We just got one more herd to let in, and then we can give these horses a good inspection, make sure that they're healthy, make sure that they're looking good, check for any new cuts, lacerations, abrasions, give them their daily care, and then we can right back out in the pasture. Three more. So we had a couple horses that had hives. So what we're doing is I'm just checking to see if they still have hives. Uh, for any horses that did, we gave them some anahist, which basically kind of nullifies anything that they were experiencing. Poncho is good. Let's check the other two. Now we're gonna check Sky. Whoa. Sky, it's all right, I'm not a fly. <laughs> a lot of you guys probably didn't even know horses had the ability to do that. That's, see that? That's for when flies land on their body. Of course, while we're checking to see if he has any hives, we want to be gentle, nice and slow with our movements, nothing that would startle him. And we want to speak calmly to make sure that we don't do anything that could alert him, alarm him, or make him feel that we are a danger. These are important things to keep in mind when you're around a horse. Even though I've been around horses my entire life, you have to remember, even the smaller horses are around 1,100 pounds. When you uh, do something wrong and they decide that they're gonna swing around, they could, they could potentially really hurt you. And that's something you need to always remember to keep in mind, is to respect them. 
Good news is Skywalker's good. We got one more horse to check, and that's Rebel. Hey, Rebel. Woo, someone was rolling in the mud last night. <laughs> Looks like we've got some old blood right here. I don't see anything on it, so we're gonna treat that with some Vetresin. There we go. So that wasn't what we were looking for, but that's what we need to check when the horses are in. I try to record different things per video as to what I'm doing. This is something that we do every single time. Sometimes we focus the camera more on the jobs that we're doing. Other times we focus the camera more on the daily care and what's being required with taking care of the horses. So all of it's being taken care of. It's just a matter of what you guys see. Because as they say, variety is the spice of life. Right, Rebel? Right, Rebel? Yeah. Good stuff. With that, that's gonna take things on over to daily care. And I checked the radar and the forecast. They're not calling for any rain, so they're gonna get the works today. So let's get started. There you go, big guy. Huh? Oh boy. Like your belly rub, buddy? There you go. Have you ever hugged a horse like this? Mm. It's like hugging a soft barrel. It's the best way I can liken it to. <laughs> Here it comes. Here it comes. There you go. Good stuff, baby. Good stuff. One ear, two ears, and then of course, gotta get a little tough out there. Go, huh? Oh, thank you, Saraja. Remember the three B's, guys. Body, belly, and boot. And that was the last horse. So now it's time to take these horses and turn them out. All right, boys. Come on, out of the ring. Let's go. Come on, RJ. Come on, Fire. Let's go. Let's go. Out you go. There you go, boys. All right. Perfect. Whoa. Look at that spider. That's a pretty creepy one. And all the horses are out. Gotta get George taken care of. Can't forget George. And then we'll head out into the pastures. And get some more mowing accomplished. Welcome to the horse pasture. As you guys can see, we have a bit of this mode, but we have a little bit to clean up here and a little bit to clean over there. These are two sections that are a little hilly. So I'm gonna be working these by driving the tractor up and down. Mainly because I need to get this done soon and that hill is just a little steep for me to driving, be driving on the side. At least for me. I know some guys could do that, no problem. I'm not one of them. I like to go up and down straight. I don't wanna put the roll bar to use, if you know what I mean.
bush that was up on the hill here, and uh, well, now it's not a problem anymore. <laughs> there we go. That's it for this section. So I'm going to park the tractor right here in the shade. Gavin's going to give me a ride back up to the farm market. We're going to take a little break. I'm going to get some water, get out of the sun for a little bit, and then we will return in half an hour. Here's a look at what we got done. I got that hill over there taken care of, and this hill that we're going up right over here taken care of right here. Definitely used the slip clutch over there on that pile of rocks. <laughs> and then way over there, we got that hill taken care of. Next stop is the meadow. We're going to work on the meadow next. Just finished up with lunch. What did we have, Joel? We had Wendy's. All right, you guys, I have some phenomenal news. We just wrapped up with lunch. Look who we've got helping us this afternoon. Hello. Yeah, so she's actually gonna be working with Gavin and they're gonna be working on getting rid of trees, moving logs and sticks and branches. I think she's gonna be driving the four-wheeler. Gavin's gonna be cutting them up and I'm gonna be rotary chopping near them. So we'll all be in the same area of the pasture, which is pretty sweet. You excited, honey? Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, Gavin, I think our taxi's here. Nice. Taxi! Yes. Could you take us to stream in second? Sure. Looks like all the horses are enjoying some grass. Oh, perfect. Right here, right here. Here, let me off here. Oh, what do I owe you? Nice. All right, so Gavin and Megan are going to head up and start working on clearing up that tree. And here's the cool part. Since you guys got to ride with me on the tractor rotary chopping, the camera is now gonna go to Gavin and Megan, and they're gonna take you guys as they work on clearing some trees and brush. Enjoy the ride. Okay, so the area of the dead trees that we need to chop up is all covered in grass that's like two feet tall. And Megan and I are both wearing shorts, so we're not prepared for it. So instead, we're going to cut down another tree. Woo! Woo! While we're doing that, Joel's going to clear up around the dead trees yep. with the rotary chopper so we can get in there afterwards. <laughs> Let's get timbering. Load it up. We now got a full wagon load. Gavin did an amazing job cutting it all up, and we're going to go take this to the pile now. All right, we have stopped working on mowing the pasture and clearing brush and we are now inside the horse stable. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's gotten a lot darker. They're calling for some pretty crazy thunderstorms moving through. We'll see, sometimes they're right, most of the time they're wrong. Either way, it's time to get the horses in. We got grain measured out between Gavin, Megan and I. We're able to get things done pretty quickly. Hey Suede, hey Obi, hey Fire. Hey Argento, hey Skywalker, hey Duke, hey Weather, hey Tucker, hey Casino, oh, it's starting to rain, there we go. Argento's in uh, Williamstall. Yeah. Oh, oh, you can't go through together, boys. Can't, can't fit through the door together. They tried. Can't do it. That's what they just learned. Go ahead on in, gentlemen, go ahead on in. That pasture is really shaping up nice. Wow, 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 is it looking good. Oh, rain's starting. Come on, William. Yeah, come on, boys. We're working pretty good over on the hill over there. You could see just barely. I got a couple passes done on the top and the bottom and a section moving over to the right cleared up. 
and I got the whole hill done, which makes me feel really good. Looks like we managed to get all the horses in before the rain got here, which is awesome. give a special thank you to all of you guys who have taken a look at our Amazon wish list. Just in case you're curious and you want to see what's on there, the link is in the description of every single video. Let's get started with sending a very special thank you to you guys. Thank you to Julianne for the salt lick. We will definitely make sure Jack gets this and he'll probably very much appreciate it. Thank you to Lisa. Oh my goodness, Lisa. Thank you for the Flex Max. It's good for the joint health of Obi and Spitfire. It'll help them out a lot. So thank you, Lisa, so much. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. And on behalf of everybody here at A Stable Life, we would love to say thank, thank you. you. And it's on that incredible note that I'd like to thank you for watching. If you haven't, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure that you're subscribed. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.